Well, if this is the case, why don't I just start having my halakas at the strip club? Way of life has cute. Even in hunted. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be advice to my beloved bro, Jay Dean. Oh, brother, now you're trying to get clout off of famous people by talking about them, huh? I'm not one of those people who bash people, judge people, and do all those sort of things, and that's why my advice video is gonna be a little different. Stay tuned to see why. But first and foremost, before we get started in this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up, and I need you to subscribe to this channel as well. There's two things that you do not know about J. Dean that I'm going to expose to you today. The first thing is that J. Dean is one of the kindest people that I've ever met. The second thing that I'm going to expose you to about J. Dean is that J. Dean loves some chicken biryani. I, I just need to say, I, I just need to put this out there. I genuinely believe that J. Dean is hiding behind the beat and here's why. Tell me one person out there who is better lyrically than J. Dean. I'll wait. I'm not encouraging you to listen to his stuff, but anything of his stuff that you have possibly already heard is super lyrical. The only person I would say is up there with him is Buna Muhammad. Buna Muhammad is extremely lyrical and thought provoking. But once again, it feels like he's hiding behind the beat. Like the beat is supposed to make you forget about his actual lyrics. Like J. Dean doesn't need a beat. All this new age music today, they hide behind beats because there's no bars at all. But J. clearly has bars. He doesn't need a beat. It sucks that he's only promoting this version of it and I would actually ask him to, hey bro, like put out a version that is kind of a cappella, so those who could vibe with you doesn't have to listen to the musical instruments part of it, and they can actually listen to you wholeheartedly. Actually, I'm gonna text him this right now. I'm gonna leave him a voice note really quickly. Assalamu alaikum, bro. Bro, listen, man. I think I've told you this before. I'm not sure if I have. I can't remember, but in the video, I'm, I'm mentioning this. But have you thought about releasing two versions? Like of your own track, like one version that doesn't have music, because bro, listen to me, man. Like I, I, you know how I feel about you, man. Like I, I believe that you're super, super duper lyrical. I can't even enjoy your lyrics because I'm just like, man, I can't listen to this guy because of the beat and all that sort of stuff, bro. Like try to put out something that, like one of your tracks that doesn't have. Have you thought about that? Let me know, bro. Inshallah, let me know, Habibi. Love you for the sake of Allah. Punchlines, the wordplay, everything about it, it's just really good. However, a lot of the arguments that I hear in support of him making music is the following. Guys, it's all about the intentions of the brother. His intentions are what matters. Bro, he's trying to help the youth that went astray. Why can't you see that? And he's trying to show you that you can be you and do you and the religion is lit, it's tolerant, it's not uptight and strict like you think it is. Bro, you're just a hater, bro. Just stop hating for a second, all right? Bro, it's obvious he's trying to attract the youth back to the dean. He is making the dean attractive, no doubt about that. And I'm sure there's a lot of benefit that people People who are listening to music have switched over to his music instead and you might be telling yourself that it's the lesser of the evils and it's a better plan for a person to be listening to his music rather than regular music and I could understand that argument however I want to know at what cost. A lot of times people would suggest that by using musical instruments, something that is not permissible, you're watering down the deen to invite more people into the deen, to invite more youth into the deen, you're sacrificing its beliefs and values just to have more people enter the deen. Well, if this is the case, why don't I just start having my halakas at the strip club? In Islam, it's about quality over quantity. What makes the Battle of Badr so amazing is that there were only a small quantity quantity of Muslims versus a high quantity of non-Muslims. But the quality of these Muslims outweighed the quantity of the non-Muslims. And that's why the Muslims were successful because the Muslims followed and adhered to the Quran and the Sunnah. When these two things are met, we're unstoppable. Our quantity might be low, but our quality rises when we adhere to the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger. So yes, maybe perhaps by listening to this music, a lot more youth are attracted back to the deen and that's a great thing. But you want to also ask yourself, are we looking for quantity or are we looking for quality? But for how long? How long are we going to consider moving from one drug of music to another drug of music and say that that's a win? How long are we going to say that, okay, they left one drug of music for a better drug of music? The issue is that we are not still freeing people's minds 
minds and imans from the shackles of the dunya. They're still addicted to music, but now it's just a different version of music. Though I might not agree to what my bro is doing or how he's caring about it, one thing that will never leave me from him is the fact that he is still my brother. I genuinely believe that Jay Dean, with his love of Allah, his love of Islam, his love of the Quran, eventually when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deems it fit, inshallah, he will indeed guide him to use his art, his skill, his God-given talent in a more positive way, in a way that is even more pleasing to Allah than what he might believe he's doing right now. And just remember that we all need a good friend, a good companion to remind us to fear Allah and to remind us to adhere to the rules and regulations that Allah wants and prescribed for us. Well, that was the video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Tell me in the comment section below what were your thoughts, what were your biggest takeaways about this, and overall, what is your feedback regarding this video? Tell me in the comment section below. If you benefited from this video, I want you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up, and I need you to subscribe to the channel as well. And until next time, I'm out. All right, guys, so um, I woke up this morning and I actually had a message from Jay Dean. Usually he gets back to me a little later because he's like on world tour or something. I don't know. Uh, but he responded back to me and I wanted to play his message. I said, I haven't heard it yet. Uh, it's still like in green. I don't know if you can see it. Malikum, bro. Don't roast me, bro. I'm scared. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, honestly, bro. Yeah, man. Like uh, I haven't, I, I, I haven't like thought of like releasing like two versions, but I, I do also make vocals only. Like I've made two songs with Ilyas Mao. Those are both vocals only. And uh, I do plan, because he's been in the UK for several months now, but he's actually coming back to Canada within the next week. And we've been talking, like, like we were talking, like, whenever he comes back, we're going to work on, like, acapella tracks together. So, and, like, even I was talking with Bono Muhammad as well about doing a song with him acapella, you know? So I'm definitely going to be doing acapella music, you know what I mean? Don't don't even worry about that. Um, I can even, like, show you one that I have. I think you'd really like it. I'll actually show, I'll show it to you if you want. It's completely acapella. And uh, you can you can you can bump it and let me know what you think. Don't share it with anybody. I, and I, I trust you won't share it with anybody, but I can show you. The messenger Salsam taught us that we are on the dean of our friends. The more positive and good friends that Jay Dean has around him, the more on their dean he will become. Thank you for watching.